Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Hey guys, Jeremiah with Matt here, Stone Blue Airlines. We are taking a look at another beautiful behemoth. Uh, this fine, it's actually kind of warm out. It's nice. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad at all. The wind's nice. We're at our new uh, location, the perspective one that we're gonna try to be doing the uh, FPV meet a little yeah. bit later on. <laughs> oh, are you recording? I can't, I can't take him for real with that. Normally you I made me wear this thing. <laughs> yeah, we like to have some fun. It is a beautiful afternoon. The air is really, really calm, which is great for this time of year. So if it is cold, it doesn't feel as bad. So what we want to do is I want to show you how we typically do a vector setup on our, our full complete builds. So you guys, come on in, take a look at this. When we do a vector setup, I like to use switch SC as our first three position and switch SG as our secondary. Uh, we typically put it in the top position, basically no stabilization. Stabilize. 2D mode is our center. Cruise mode. Cruise mode, or basically 2D hold, is going to hold our altitude. And then that puts us in sub mode in vector. Sub mode then transfers over and we're still in hold mode on position 4. Loiter. 5 is loiter. Return to launch. 6 is our return to home. And then to get back out of it, just drop it back, everything back out, and we're uh, we're back into full manual mode. Uh, we're running today easy UHF, and that's pretty much it. We're just running the stock setup on this. We'll be doing some testing on it today, and then getting it ready to go out. Uh, with Vector, you always wanna, well, any ready, you always wanna make sure you power up your transmitter first, make sure everything's functional, make sure your all your switches are in the neutral position so that uh, the Tranus Plus is gonna boot up and then we're ready to go ahead and boot up the uh, the aircraft. So we're gonna go through that and I'm gonna talk you through what the next setup is. Is my head screwed on right? I think so. I'm surprised you hadn't made fun of my footwear yet. <laughs> That's an old cow patty, I didn't make it. Okay, Jeremiah is just setting up the camera now. I'm his buddy, so I'm holding his transmitter. Just a little reminder, all you guys that are getting into this stuff, you have your friend holding the airplane. The prop is always a danger, especially when it's plugged in. Um, here's a good tip. Keep your thumb down on that throttle. Okay, so pre-flight, before you get ready to fly, especially if you're doing a vector, and this is what we do for every single one, you wanna make sure you get full GPS lock. We like at least seven satellites, and usually uh, vector really gets satellites pretty darn quick, so this one is picking up nine. We're in a great spot, picking up nine. So we're gonna go ahead and toggle our main switch twice. It's gonna take us into the menu, reset home position. I'm also going to adjust our milliamp packs. So that is what, 10,400. I'm going to go ahead and set pack, and then we're pretty much ready to fly. We're gonna go ahead and trim it again, bring it down, make a couple adjustments, and we'll be ready to go again. When you're setting up Vector, you also want to make sure you have to record flat and level mounting for every installation. Yep. What you need to do is record flat and level mounting, but sometimes, even on the ground, it means you may need to raise the nose up to get Vector trimmed well so that when you're in 2D hold mode, it's holding. If you see that in 2D hold, the plane is slowly dropping out, you just bring it back down, redo flat and level mounting, and make sure the nose is slightly angled up just a little bit. Always do a little bit, put it back up in the air, trim it again, and go from there. And that's what we're doing too. We're trying to set these planes up, you know, where they fly nice and trim the first time without having to rely on all the radio trims, without everything else. So, 
That's what we're doing. We're trying to sneak up on this plane. We're trying to do the trims right. Watch how we throw the wing. This is a nice, big, hefty 60 inch aircraft. Matt is doing a fantastic job tossing this. We've seen it a couple different times. So we're gonna look from a side angle so you guys can see. miles we are in the air for 40 minutes and we still probably could have stayed up a little bit longer. Right. Ooh, look at that. 